Good morning traders and welcome to today's live trading. Today is the 29th of November, it's a Thursday and as usual we are on the FTSE 100. Uh, first of all just to apologise for the lack of live trading videos over the last couple of weeks. Um, for various reasons really, I just haven't been able to get this video recorded um, on this particular day. Sometimes I also have Friday available to me. I don't think that's been the case for the last couple of weeks either. Um, so just really because there's been nothing to upload that's why nothing's gone up. Um, one of those reasons is as you may have noticed the setup might look a little bit different to usual and that's because a few things have changed. I'll pop a video up now and please excuse if the voiceover doesn't match what I'm talking about but uh, you can see in front of me here we've got a new Acer Predator uh, 27 inch IPS 1440p monitor. Uh, I've got rid of two of the monitors that I've got above it um, and replaced this with it. It's really really good. I'm really pleased with uh, the standard of the monitor and then over to the right hand side the PC under the desk has disappeared. Uh, you might be able to see it in the camera behind me um, but this is a new custom built PC um, it's got a Core i7, a GTX 980Ti, 16 gigs of DDR4 RAM, and then just the usual bits and pieces. Um, it's a lot better than the previous uh, PC that had, and everything's a little bit quicker now. So, uh, yeah, really happy with it. But back to trading. Um, let me run you through the bands for today. You can see on the chart here we have a couple of bands above, one around the 7070 level and another one around the 7100 level and then there's quite a gap down to the one below at sort of 6985. Really no immediate trades that are on my radar, um, just looking at the 4 hour chart it's not really making any headway one way or the other at the moment, it's just sort of moving sideways so happy to trade from any of these bands really. Um, just as and when price gets to it like I say nothing particular that I'm looking at so um, yeah I will keep watching the open is in just over 10 minutes time and um, I'll come back to you when we start getting some setups right so we've just gone uh, 5 past 10 uh, basically just a bit of an update really you can see that we moved up since the open into this band I was talking about this morning around the 7070 level. Um, I was somewhat interested after this uh, sort of red engulfing bar, but uh, my problem with it was since the move, uh, since the move started from eight o'clock, we'd moved up. We hadn't broken down below the ATMA since uh, since breaking above it. Uh, we tested it a few times, but never closed through it and also we were making higher highs, higher lows, higher highs uh, just not really enough for me to get too excited about trying to short a market um, when you're seeing that kind of price action uh, that added to if you look at the lower time frames at uh, the higher time frames even there were just a few things on there that I thought was supporting a move higher um, and so I wasn't really willing to just take a short the first signal that arrived and that's really sort of the premise for what's happened so far um, I was a little bit more interested on this candle here the 955 the small red pin bar but again uh, nothing had really changed too much um, since the big engulfing candle um, apart from us closing down below uh, the 5 minute ATMA all the support on the higher time frame still there you can see um, I draw this line across here with you know we've got a few pins here uh, I would expect some sort of reaction and this actually lines up quite nicely with I'll show you on the hourly chart you can see this is like the first test of the ATMA on the hourly chart since breaking above it uh, which is usually good for at least some support so um, once this is out of the way this level then it starts to become a lot more interesting. So if price from here, maybe retest the lower end of this band and gives me a sell signal, then I would definitely be interested in that. Um, all of our support levels would have been tested. 
and um, you know the price action looks good. We've actually got a sort of uh, head and shoulders pattern here. If I um, you see maybe a left shoulder, the head, and then this candle here, uh, a right shoulder. Obviously, they never look as textbook as you'd like them to. Um, but there's that sort of oops, there's that sort of pattern there. So. Um, is annoying. Let's get rid of that arrow. Um, so yeah, that's basically my thought process is there. And it might be that I end up missing this trade completely, which, you know, if that happens then fine. Um, I didn't think there was enough um, going on up here to justify getting short. I thought it was too much of a risk. The probabilities weren't um, in my favour enough for me to take the trade, so I haven't done that. And that doesn't mean that the trades don't work all the time, because obviously they do work some of the times. Um, it's looking pretty healthy at the moment for a, for a good move down, so it could be that I've just missed this move. In which case, I'll uh, I'll reevaluate further down the line. The frustrating thing would be if we are going to start coming down. I don't really have another band to get involved until all the way down at six uh, nine ninety, which is like another. Where are we now? We're 70.50, so it's like 60, point, 60 points south of where we are. Um, I could have a look on the higher time frames and see if there's any levels in between where I think I could get involved, but there was nothing standing out to me this morning when I was looking through it, hence why I've not drawn anything in. So, um, yeah, my preference would obviously be for a little bit of a bounce here, retest this band, and I can get short from up here. Uh, with a view to uh, coming down to at least probably these lows. Um, yesterday's close is here, or just above the 7,000 level. Uh, there's a potential for that to be hit today. So we'll just have to see. Um, for now, I'm not in the market, and um, it's maybe looking like I won't be for the next little while, but we'll see. I'll uh, come back to you later on. Okay, so we've Coming up to uh, 10 to 12 now, and as you can see, uh, price has come down from where we were talking about before. Um, the only annoying thing is it came up into the band that uh, we were looking at. You can see I've drawn here with the blue line where these pins were. It came just into that that sort of little area, that little pocket, and uh, it just didn't give us a signal. Um, you can see the candle that touched it is just sort of this uh, you know, bullish candle with pins either side, a really nothing candle, um, and price fell away from the touch, um, and now we're just sort of reacting in this sort of mid-ground uh, between the two bands. So a little bit frustrating really, that I couldn't get into this trade uh, when it came up here, there was just nothing there, like uh, completely nothing there, <clears throat> excuse me, but like I said at the time, if there's no signal, you can't trade it. I'm not going to jump into a trade just because he might go up a particular way. I'm trying to trade high probability uh, setups and uh, just because something might do something and it's not good enough for me to get into a particular trade. As you've seen me do many times uh, on this channel, I will just skip it uh, if it's not good enough. So uh, that's effectively what I've done, but on this occasion it has come down. So um, yeah, not much I could do about it. We're a long way off either band at the moment. We're about uh, 20 points below this band and a good 50 points above this band. Uh, well, 45. Um, so we're in. We're stuck in a little bit of mid ground at the minute. I do need to run out for about an hour, maybe two. Um, so I think I'm just going to do that now while we get sort of the lunchtime lull and uh, we're in between the bands. And then hopefully by the time I get back, uh, we. Uh, we'll be closer to one of these levels and we can look to trade this afternoon. So I'll catch you then. Okay, so we are just gonna have past three now. I'm actually gonna put a sell signal in below this candle. So a low of 76.1, I want to be in at 75. Uh, I'll just pop that in now. Ah, annoyingly my trading platform has just crashed. Excuse me, the uh, trade platform uh, annoyingly has crashed there, so um, I've just restarted that now, uh, but I've just put the order in on my phone, it is up at 75, 
annoyingly as you can see price has come all the way down um, and it's not looking like it's going to come back and let me in as we're down to what, nearly 68 already uh, very frustrating I will leave the order in if it does come up and trigger me in then fantastic um, but basically all I've been doing really is sitting on my hands and being patient um, you can see price has grinded its way up higher um, excuse me and it looked like it might want to roll over for a while I was just looking for that not perfect signal but good enough signal I guess uh, see when you've got price action like this you you just have to be careful it's moving well sort of puts in relative from here it puts in a nice high lower lower low breaks that high lower low lower lows again breaks up higher and then this time it's it's really that's a really nice failure of a candle um, marry that with is basically at the same level that we failed that last time and again um, the overnight highs there uh, just makes for a better trading opportunity um, so as usual the stop would go above this candle if we do get triggered um, with basically a take profit looking down towards today's S1 um, that sort of region around 70-50 really um, but as it stands we might struggle to get triggered um, but we'll see I'll leave this running hopefully we do get triggered I'll restart the platform properly and bring the uh, ticket up so you can see it and uh, let's see what happens So as you can see we have come down to the 70-50 level now, um, hugely annoying really, that's just, I got to hold my hands up completely my uh, mistake, not being prepared, not checking everything's working and um, you know, that costs you, uh, in this case it's cost a very good trade, uh, what would have been potentially 15 points uh, stop on this trade for 25 points profit that takes less than 10 minutes uh, is a bit of a kick in the teeth but sometimes it happens we all make mistakes um, and that's basically what's happened here I should have been more prepared for this trade trying to do one too many things um, there you are it's getting towards the end of the day I think and um, concentration has slipped a little and as a consequence I've missed a trade but it happens um, you can see that the analysis was good and the planning was good like I said it was all about waiting for the right opportunity in a move like this and uh, as soon as I saw this candle here I knew that that was something I wanted to get in we tried to push higher uh, rolled over tried to push higher again had the nice rejection candle bang you should have been straight in and uh, had the platform not crashed that's exactly what I would have done come back down to maybe take out these lows basically test this whole area here is what I was looking at where prices sort of come down to nearly every time um, and it's done it yet again but quarter to four now I, I honestly can't see me trading this again uh, again at all um, I wish it would be again I've not managed to get any trades today I don't think no we've not took any um, so yeah I mean even if it was going to start to come up now and react from this area you're pushing it as there's only 45 minutes left of, of normal trading hours so I'm not going to do that you've also got to protect your mental capital and when you're a little bit annoyed with yourself for not uh, you know being as prepared as you should be um, then uh, it's pointless putting throwing yourself into the ring so to, so to speak to, uh, to try and rectify those things it's better to just accept you made the mistake move on come back another day and I think that's what I'm going to do today um, so yeah I hope you managed to take something away from this video I know I've taken something away from uh, this afternoon's trading performance um, you just got to be more prepared if you aren't focused on the charts don't have them open there's no point doing it half assed because um, you're only going to annoy yourself but thank you for watching I'm sorry there's actually been no trades in this video um, hopefully I'll be alert enough next week to actually record one I'll see you then